Hello, Tab Nation. It's your boy, Tom. And today we're going to be doing a gaming video on Minecraft. So I'm going to show you here real quick on what my issue is and why I automate it. I'll explain the code real quick in case you want to make any changes. Uh, it's all very simple stuff that I've always, already covered in a lot of my other videos. So there's really no point in issuing each command out. So we'll go over that real quick. So let's jump into the Minecraft thing. Here I am at my crafting table. I'm going to right click. I got all these snowballs. I can sit here and, you know, boom, 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 boom. Grab that. That's going to take forever. Especially if I need a lot. You know, I'm building like a snow fortress or something. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to organize this so we just see that snow block there. <clears throat> now you can click here. But then you're still going over here and doing a shift click to gather it. Yeah, that's just that's a lot of work to be honest. So what we're going to do is automate this in two different ways, really, um, depending on how much you need, how fast you want it, that kind of thing. So let's look at the code real quick, and then we'll show you it in action. Let me line that up a little better. There we go. So this is auto hotkeys in case you're just coming here because you did a Minecraft automation search. Uh, it's very easy to install. I'll link the video below on how to install it. It takes like, I don't know, five minutes and half of that's just maybe a downloading and unzipping. But the first thing we're going to do is F1 is our hotkey. A hotkey means you press F1. It performs all the code here until it hits that return. So this is kind of like our setup. <clears throat> Actually, you should probably write that down. Set up. Uh, and this is how we're going to grab the coordinates based off of our monitor or you know everybody has their game in full screen or you know windowed mode so, so this allows every <clears throat> sorry everybody to be a little bit more adaptive <clears throat> oh there we go something in my throat uh so we're going to display a tooltip here tooltip's just like a little message box uh that tells you an instruction so it's going to say, press the item you are making. And if you don't understand what I'm talking about right now, you'll understand a little better when I actually show you this in action. It's then going to wait for us to click the left mouse button. And then wherever you click, it's going to get those coordinates, the X, Y on your screen. It's going to sleep for one second just to kind of slow it down a little bit. And then you're going to get another tooltip that's going to say, press the collect location. Uh, then it's going to once again wait for you to click on that location. It's going to grab those coordinates, save it as XYPOS2 versus, you know, XPSO1. And then we're going to have a tooltip saying, hey, you are ready. Press F2 to run single or press Shift F2 for 10. So it's going to F2 by itself. It's just going to do it a single time. But if you want to mass produce, you can do 10 and you can change this. I'll show you that in a second. It's going to just sleep three seconds and then it's going to get rid of that tool tip. And now you're ready. So for F2, we're going to press F2. It's going to do a mouse click at that first position that we gathered from up there with the setup. It's going to sleep 500 milliseconds. Now I slowed this down just for the sake of the video. If you want this to go really fast, you can change this to like 50 milliseconds. Uh, in video games, I wouldn't go anything lower than that because sometimes it can really like screw stuff up. Uh, not like it's gonna like screw your game up. It's just like the script will like glitch and then you you gotta redo it. Uh, it's gonna send shift down. It's gonna click on that place where it made the item, and then we're gonna put shift up back. Uh, basically, is when you shift click, it auto moves it to your inventory, and we hit that return. So we're done. Now, let's say we want to do the exact same thing, but instead of us sitting here clicking F2 over and over and over again, we can do Shift F2, and it's going to do it 10 times instead. And that's just basically, it's all the same code. We're just adding a loop that does 10. Now, if you want to change this number right here to 10, change it to whatever you want. If you want this loop to go 50 times each time you push Shift F2, go for it. Uh, I thought 10 was a good number, so every 10 times it does it, you just push Shift F2 again, it does it another 10 times for 20, etc. And then I just add it, if you press F3, uh, exit, 
that just closes the script out. You know, maybe you're done playing Minecraft or whatever. It's just a fast way to close out the script versus going down to your uh, start menu bar or whatever and clicking that little arrow and then right clicking on the auto hockey script, which will be a white icon that looks like this. Oh, I guess I got to move these. Looks like this. And it will show up on your bar as a green icon that looks just like that, but it's, yeah, it has like a green background instead. All right. So let's see this in action. Oh, it's nighttime. Oh, well. So you go up to the uh, bench or the crafting table, right click on it. I, I mean, I like to sort it so that I'm seeing very little. Uh, you know, that's just a personal preference. Um, and so now we need to launch the script now that we're ready. So we're just going to take this as long as you have auto hotkey installed. Like I said, very easy to install description below. We're going to double click. doesn't really say anything. It, we just know it's running. Uh, if you do have any issues with your antivirus, because auto hotkey sometimes can be a little weird with antivirus, even though it's perfectly safe. Uh, I'll also link that in the description on how to say allow or uh, whenever you get that little pop-up down there, you just push on it and it'll, it'll maybe quarantine it. You just say unquarantine, allow this file to run. So it's perfectly safe because all it's doing is mouse clicks. And I showed you all the code. Uh, so yeah, we're going to press F1. See, there's that little tooltip. Press the item you are making. Well, we're going to be making snow blocks. So you can click anywhere in this square. It doesn't really matter. I mean, just click in the middle. Now it's going to say... Press the collect location. That's right here. Once again, just click wherever towards the middle. That is probably the best. Just to be safe. So we're going to click that. You are ready. Press F2 to run. And so we got that little tooltip. So we're ready. So first we're going to do F2. So I'm just going to go ahead and press F2. And as you saw, my hands, well, I think because you didn't see my hands. Well, now we're going to do Shift F2. As you see, here's my hands. So as you see, it's moving. Like I said, you can make this faster by changing that sleep 500 milliseconds down to like 50 milliseconds. And it's just going to boom, 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 knock it out real fast. And then I'm going to push F3 and the script's closed now. So if I push F2, oh, oh, that's a mistake on my part. F3, it does not do an exit. There we go. Now it'll work. So yeah. Uh, basically, that's it. You could use this also in other locations besides crafting items. You know, maybe you need, I, I can't think of an example right now, uh, refilling your furnace. Anything that takes two clicks where you're doing this, shift click, you know, using your furnace, potion making, whatever. This script should work pretty much in a lot of places, wherever you just want to automate clicking uh, back and forth. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, learned something that you will use. I enjoy playing Minecraft. I haven't played in a while, but I'm actually getting back into it this weekend. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. More gaming videos coming out or just automation in general with like your job. You know, if you want to automate something in your job, kind of like what you saw here, definitely watch some of my other videos and subscribe. Bell notification and that like is always the most helpful because it bumps me up in the algorithm. The great secret YouTube algorithm. All right, everybody. See you on the next one.